Let me ask you guys something. How many of your passwords are longer than 12 to 14 characters? How many of them not only have numbers and letters, but also capital letters and special characters as well? Do you use unique passwords for every website? If you aren't sure or you know that you don't do these things, your password sucks. I'm sorry, it happens to the best of us, so you might want to pay attention. And even if you do think you're good with passwords, you better still watch it because I'm sure there's something you're going to be able to learn. With password breaches happening more and more frequently, these days you basically have to assume that some of your passwords on various websites are going to be stolen. They almost certainly are. Just recently it was revealed that even Yahoo had a breach of 1 billion passwords. Think about that. Other breaches include Tumblr, there were 65 million accounts stolen, LinkedIn, 160 million, Dropbox, 68 million. There are major companies who are presumably spending a lot of money on security, and yet they are still getting hacked. All that being said though, there are several things you can do to protect yourself even if a website you use gets hacked. Depending on how good your password is, your account may still be safe. And even if not, you can at least prevent information from being used from that leak on all your other accounts. We can also talk about how to know if your password has been stolen or already has been maybe, and other things you can do as well. So first let's talk about why you need a strong password. Not something you should have, it's something you need. And then we'll talk about what a strong password looks like in a second. So one misconception is that you need a strong password so no one will guess it. No person would ever be able to guess it, right? No, in reality, you want a strong password so a computer can't guess it. What if I told you it's completely reasonable to imagine a computer that could try 100 million passwords per second? How long do you think it would take to guess yours just by brute force? And also, if you're wondering why password strength matters if the website's just gonna get hacked anyway, that's a good question. Hold off on that for a minute because it does still matter. So here are some things you can do so even a computer that fast will never guess it in a million years, quite literally. First, make sure your password is very long. Consider this. If your password is only one character long and it's only gonna be lowercase letters, clearly there are 26 possible combination, one letter for every letter in the alphabet. Add a second letter, and now there are 26 possible choices of the first letter, times 26 for the second letter. So your strength of the password didn't just double, but rather increased by 26 times from adding one letter. Every additional character in your password makes it exponentially stronger. In the previous example, every additional letter makes the password 26 times stronger. But wait, that was just using lowercase letters. Add uppercase letters too, and now you just increase the pool of possible characters to 52. With numbers, it's 62. With special characters, there are a bunch of them, but let's assume that you have the choice of using just the ones from the top row of the keyboard, and that's 13 more. Now you can see that no matter how long your password is, adding even a single special character or uppercase letter or number will make your password so much stronger. The typical suggestion is that you want each of your passwords to be at least 12 to 14 characters long, and again, containing those upper, lower case letters, numbers, and symbols. But in a few years, that might need to be longer because computers get faster, but it's a general rule of thumb. Now, many of you smarty pants have already been wondering, wait a minute, if the website's getting their password database hacked, why does it even matter how strong my password is in the first place? That's a very good question, and the answer is, you want a strong password specifically for when a website gets hacked. So first of all, websites typically have limits on how many times you can try to log in. So even if someone wanted to specifically target your account, they wouldn't even get the chance to try 100 million passwords. They would get locked out from the site before they even had a few attempts. So the main thing to be concerned about is when a website's database gets hacked. But even when a hacker steals an entire database, those passwords are typically not stored in plain text if the website's any decent. Password databases are usually encrypted, and this is when the hacker would try to crack them. Because when they have the database for themselves just on their own computer, they can try as many combinations as fast as they can. And pay attention because this is going to be possibly the most important point. If you have a very strong password, and the website encrypted the passwords correctly, even if that password database is stolen, 
the hacker still won't be able to get your password. The hacker will typically use all sorts of algorithms and techniques or even brute force to crack as many passwords as he can from the database, but he probably won't get them all. So don't let yourself be one of the people who does get their password stolen. You might steal a database of a million passwords, but if they're all super strong and encrypted, it doesn't matter. They're all just gonna remain strings of random numbers and letters that are useless, not the actual passwords themselves. Now going off that though, I must point out that you should never assume that a website will have perfect security. You don't know what type of method they use to encrypt the passwords or even if they encrypted them at all. You just wanna protect yourself in as many ways as possible just in case. Which brings me to my next point, which is why you should use a different password on every single website. To do this, I would actually recommend getting a password manager just because you're not gonna be able to remember everything probably. There are a bunch of them like LastPass, Dashlane, 1Password, and others. These allow you to store all your passwords for your different sites, and they'll usually also have a way to generate random strong passwords. Of course, if you're gonna do this, you wanna make sure that the password for your password manager is super duper strong, like at least 20 characters, probably more, because if that gets hacked, everything's gone. Me, for example, if I'm signing up for a website I know I'm not gonna use very often, I always just generate a random one using the password manager. Now, if you want strong and memorable passwords for sites maybe that you really go on often, what you can do is create a type of system for coming up with passwords that you can remember. So you don't have to remember each password, just the system. So if a site has this characteristic, the password will have that in it. And depending on this other thing, you can add some particular character to the beginning or end. You get the idea. It doesn't matter what you do as long as every password for every website is different and then you can just remember the system that you came up with every time. If you don't have unique passwords, this is what will happen. Say you have a very strong password. Well, unfortunately, your favorite website got hacked and it turns out they never encrypted the passwords. So your strong password is now useless. Or maybe the password wasn't strong enough and it got cracked and again is useless. Next that hacker is going to sell that account database to everyone willing to pay for it. At some point, it will probably get leaked publicly for free, so anyone with an internet connection can see it. Now you have thousands of people who will write programs to try these usernames and passwords on all sorts of sites, not just the one that got hacked. And if you're lucky, that website will notice that they got hacked in the first place and tell the users to change the passwords. Will you be able to remember all the websites where you used that password? And if you're not lucky, someone's gonna look at your password and try it on your bank login. And you'll think someone hacked into your bank account, but really, it was some 15 year old who found a leaked account database for some random forum that you forgot you signed up for three years ago. Do you see my point? Now, there is another thing you can do in addition to all this, which I actually think is essential these days, I do it all the time for everything, which is two-factor authentication. I've made entire videos about this, but I'll try to explain it quickly for this. Two-factor authentication is when you need two things to log into your account. Typically, something you know, your password, and something you have, like your phone. What a lot of sites will let you do now is that whenever you log in, you'll be sent a text message with a code that you also have to type in before you're logged into the account. So even if someone gets your password, they don't have that second code that gets sent to your phone, so they won't be able to log in, and then you'll know that, wait a minute, someone tried to log in because I got this code, better change the password. Two-factor authentication is absolutely essential for important accounts like your bank account and email account especially. Think about it, if someone gets into your email account, they can reset any of your other passwords. Any email service worth its salt will let you do two-factor authentication, including Gmail. I could go so much more in depth about this, but for now, I just encourage you to look up how to set up two-factor authentication on your important websites. And there is another website called twofactorauth.org, which will tell you which sites support two-factor authentication. Should really check that website out. Now, the final thing I'd like to mention is how to know if your password is stolen. Sometimes you will never know, but there's one site that I've talked about before called haveibeenowned.com that will notify you if your username or email appears in leaked databases, and it's free too. So you go and put in your email address and then say you wanna be notified. Then if a new leak occurs, they will email you at that address and say, hey, 
this email address is in a password leak from this website, so you better not use that password anymore. Again, they're not gonna have every single leaked database, but the big ones, they'll at least tell you if you're in there. So let's recap everything that we talked about. First, use strong passwords, which means they are at least 12 to 14 characters long, have upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Next, use unique passwords on every site, ideally randomly generated with a password manager so you don't have to remember them yourself. Finally, enable two-factor authentication. So even if they get your password, you can change it before they can ever log in. Now you should also remember that these are the basics. These are just the essentials. These aren't just if you wanna be extra safe. Your password will get hacked. But if you're smart, then it won't even matter. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful and I'd like to hear from you guys as well. So I thought what I'd do is give a question of the day to hear what you guys think. And then in the next video, I can share some of the more insightful comments and see what you guys thought. So let me ask you this. Did you ever have an account of yours get hacked? And how did that change your behavior in terms of password or computer security? You can let us know down in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And if you wanna check out some other videos, I'll put those right here, including a video I made a while back going way more in depth about two-factor authentication. I highly recommend it. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, so it should be worth it. And as usual, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.